Okay, so here we are. What I want to do is reveal. I'm going to grab another piece. I'm probably going to grab this piece. It's going to be another complex chunk. And let me grab this piece over here. And then hide. So you just have to be very savvy about how you hide stuff and how that works. Uh, again, that's L over anything or, yeah, just clicking L over the top of anything will highlight it like that. Okay, I'm going to illuminate these right off the bat. Now keep in mind the centers of these you're probably going to not be keeping. So wait a minute, let me redo this. That means what I would do is insert the texture seam right here because you're going to be keeping like the third or fourth poly in uh, based upon back face culling. Um, if you don't do that, if you run up to this character and he clips, um, you'll see right through his arm. And you're probably going to need a lot of these on the inside of these parts. So I'm just going to kind of cut these in correlation to what I need and what I don't need. In other words, in this area, I'm seeing through the mesh too. So I don't want a back face culling to occur. So now I'll be able to see on the inside of that. So there's a lot of stuff on the inside that I might have to keep on these parts. So knowing that, I'm going to allow or put an edge loop here or edge mark seam here and not to be too picky about it because I know I'm going to end up keeping a lot of this stuff just because you can see inside it. Okay, now where to hide the seam? Well, here's an extraordinary vertice just waiting to be tapped. Just like that. So those okay. Now I'm going to do the inside of this edge loop here. Then complete it here. Just like that. So I guess these are two really complex phases or forms, no doubt about it. I thought it I'd have them all out of the way, but obviously these these are kind of complex. You have to kind of think about how you're going to unwrap these flat. And on the inside of every one of these loops has to be accounted for as far as the seam that goes all the way around them.
Okay, so let me see what I have so far before I go chopping anymore. This time, I can hit A on the keyboard. It'll highlight both pieces. But I want to make sure that that doesn't go across. So L would be better. U unwrap. And it looks like I have some clashing over here. Some clashing over here. So I'm going to use that sync UV to kind of look at what, what is in that area. Sure enough, I have this big, huge one in the front that I still have to deal with. nice okay so there's how you unwrap those I got some debacleness going on here it's caused from that extra edge loop that I popped in there earlier so I'm going to choose to make that less complex and leave that out of the equation And then I'm just looking for anything that looks odd or overlapping and it looks really nice. Okay, so I'm going to grab these and move them over here. That's G on the keyboard. Okay. And that's because I have the chunks already there from the previous. So if I reveal these you're going to see that I have some chunks to do, but by the end, they should be all off this thing. Now, if I want to tidy that up a little bit, I can hit L, select inverse, hide, I get these parts, okay, and there's a way to select islands, that is... Taking this off. A over here. And then I can select islands holding shift. Just a little trick. So you can use the lasso tool 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 two to do that, but um, G on the keyboard, move those off. There we go. So reveal as you can see now I have this chunk over here that represents the arms this check that represents the body and then I have all this stuff left over that I have to keep moving until the entire surface is clear for the UV range and that's a little game now it's like clear the UV range so please move on to the next video where we can play this game a little further